I've got a sneaky suspicion that I might be spending a lot of January in the local job centre. Welcome back to Truro to Euro. My name is Dan, and as you can see, we haven't been doing very well. Ten matches in a row without winning. Now, today's episode, we're going to be taking on these two teams, Hemel Hempstead in the Vanarama South and Chelmsford in the FA Trophy third qualifying round. Let's just go over a few results, shall we? I'm not going to go into too in-depth. For the last game we played was AFC Sudbury in the FA Cup, which was a disaster. So, we're going to, uh, moving on from that, is it's, it's, it's loss, it's a loss, uh, a, a rare draw, uh, yeah, it's, it's mainly a sea of red, it's, it's not much more than that, um, I did put a friendly in here, which we won 4-0, I put the friendly in because there was just a giant gap between the two games, and I thought, you know, I need to get some confidence in my players, get them scoring goals and it, it did work actually I mean the, the last game we I played was uh, against Margate which was a two-all draw and we played quite well in that game we nearly matched them and I've had to fiddle a bit about with the tactics River Allen scoring um, to take us one all which was uh, a fairly decent goal uh, I think he just uh, laid, laid it off into the into the bottom corner if I remember rightly so, yeah, it was a throw-in. I think it was laid off, and then he just, just tucked it away. Really, yeah, really well. Um, he was asking for games recently, so I gave him, I've given him a run of games, and he's actually playing quite well. So, we may be on a change of form. Uh, Margate did score again to make it 2-1 to them, but Ollie knows. I think this is a cracking finish uh, for, for the young lad in, the, in midfield. Get ready. How about that? Top corner. Beautiful. And that earned us a valuable point. Absolutely valuable. I mean, we, we are seriously struggling. You guys can stop celebrating now. Thanks very much. So, yeah, we, we're not doing very well. In the league, we are currently, I believe, in the relegation zone. There we go. There we are. 20th. And we're not looking like we're going to get out. Uh, generally, we do not look like we're getting out of trouble. Um, so I don't see myself lasting past Christmas But anyway on to today's game Right then guys, this is it. This is the team that will be starting today uh, Looking relatively fit raring to go the only Difference in uh, personnel is that we haven't got David Banjo and we haven't got Lewis guy Lewis guy I've kind of forgiven For his little strop. He he had a strop. I left him off for maybe four or five games I, I just left him I said you're not you're not gonna play and then I decided you know what? I'll give you a second chance and he has repaid me he's been scoring goals only five of them but five in ten I'm happy with one every other game's good considering we've been losing every other game every every, every other game Christ we're not we're not even that good it's every game um, so we we've got Neil in to replace him Neil isn't doing that great in fact he's still looking for his first goal this season uh, Chris Dickinson young lad who we brought in He's he's supposed to be good for the future. Whether or not he turns out to be is a different matter. But he's he's done okay. He hasn't done great. He's just done okay. Um, and yes, and River Allen and Ollie Knowles who scored in the last game because they played well. So I'm going to keep playing them. Uh, yeah, the the tactic has changed. Also, we're going for an attacking three four three. Um, the only difference is we'll have defensive wing wingers. Uh, and obviously the three up top with the uh, two attacking forwards. And, sorry, attacking forwards, advanced forwards. Words. Uh, yeah, so two advanced forwards and a target man. It kind of worked last game, so we're going to go with it. And these are the new instructions. We're going to pump it up and hope for the best. We're going to look for the overlap and more direct passing. And that's, then that's really all I've, I've put on there. I try to keep it simple, I think, is the best way to do it. But anyway... Let's get on with the game, shall we? I'll just stop 
yakking on like an idiot. Right then, let's see if we can get our first win in 10 games. Come on, boys. Do me proud. Here we go. It's Sweeney on the ball. Sweeney in the middle to Moore. Moore looks like he's going to play KMB, is it? And he's not really done much with it and then killed our player. And then our two look so confused by it. They're not going to do anything with it. We look so good as a team. We look so, so good. Anyway, this is a long highlight. And Dickinson is now charging forward up the pitch. Who plays it to nobody. And maybe it's going to be their highlight. Who knows? This is just this is end to end of crap. Come on, boys. Get it up there. That's it. This is the longest, most boring highlight ever. Come on. Get it out, Smith. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. This is poor. More. Sweeney plays it through. This is Kembe. He's completely fluffed his lines there. He should have scored. That should be 1 0. Sorry, thumps it long. And nobody even challenges for the header. Montgomery. Sweeney again. Sweeney's looking dangerous. Finds more. Plays it wide. It's cleared. Maybe more. Oh, Massaro saves it, sort of. Everything seems to be sort of in this game. He sort of saves it. He sort of clears it. I'm sort of managing. It's crossed in. It's out. This is Kambi now. Pulls it back in. This is Parks. Plays it in Kambi. It's deflected wide, was that? Well, three minutes. Been a busy three minutes. Parks to cross. And it's cleared for another corner. Come on, boys. Hit him on the counter or something. In fact, I might go counter in a minute. Oh, it's Canby again. Out wide to Parks. Parks to cross the ball in. And we've got it. It's Knowles. And that was it. That was that was the highlight. Oh, wow. Parks with another corner. Crosses it in. It's 1-0. Montgomery scores. Oh, it was Nelson who scored. Sorry, my bad. Nelson scored. A near post header. Did we even challenge for it? No. No. In fact, who was that? Alan was just running. He just didn't even look. Like, he wasn't even looking at the ball. He just running. I'm going to go that way. And yeah, we're losing. Oh Christ, Dickinson! Come on, do something. Play it through. Oh Dickinson. Oh Dickinson. You are probably going to get sold. Dickinson flicks it onto nobody. It's now cleared, and they're through. This is Kambe again. He looks so dangerous. It's two 0 I'm starting to think I may not be the man for the job at Truro. It may be a sinking ship. As you guys can probably tell, I'm getting a little bit sick of losing. And I'm not even sure I can fix it. Now Sweeney. It's more. Plays it in. This is Nelson. Nelson, Kambe, it's 3-0. Oh, dear. And it's only 26 minutes in. Right, we're going to have to seriously look at fixing this. It might be too little too late now, but uh, let's, let's clear the ball to the flanks. We're going to hit early crosses. We're going to go route one. Let's just be a bit more disciplined as well. Let's see how we get on. I'm still going to go attacking because we've got nothing, you know, shit or bust really now. We've got nothing to lose apart from another game. Dickinson plays in. Neil's through. Can Neil get a goal back? No. No, he can't. No, he can't. We've had three shots, but they've been on target. It's just probably just rolled towards the goalkeeper and now. Nielsen, Nielsen again, in the middle, oh, 
God. <laughs> it goes from bad to worse. And Smith scores an own goal. You didn't even need to slide there. And you had two teammates behind you. Let's make a substitution. I want to hoik him off, but screw it. River Allen can come off. Jay Cash can come on. You can have a run around for a bit. Cultris can come on. I don't really have much else. In fact, no, do you know what? I am going to haul Jack Smith off because that was just diabolical. And you might be lucky if you even start the next game, Jack. And I've just realised I've done a treble substitution. That means we're bound to get an injury in a minute. We go Dickinson. Play it through. This is Neil. Yes! A goal! Oh, I've never been so happy to score a goal. I've been a lot happier before. I've kind of lost the will to live. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we can go on an FA Trophy run. Who knows? Let's, let's, let's try and stay positive. It's Ash to Coltris, who gives it away. It's Kambi, who has been absolutely, like, just an absolute star for them today. Now Cook on the right, pings it in. Neil, oh, can he get a second? Could we be onto something here? It's Neil, crosses it in. It's Dickinson, it's two. This could be still game on. Who was I kidding? Wow. Two quick goals. Well, I say quick goals. It wasn't really quick goals, but two goals. It's just a shame we conceded four. Come on, boys. Let's get another one. If we make it 4 3, it won't be, seem so bad. We've only got a minute left. I don't think we're going to get a third. Robinson in the middle. Come on, boys, tackle him. Go tackle him. Oh, no. No, don't let it be five. Oh, good save, Mazzaro. Good save. I'll clap that. What a save. Now, we've got to come out all guns blazing for this FA Trophy game. Helmer Helmers did win, then. Can't fault the boys. Yes, we. I can fault the boys all day long. I can fault them till the cows come home. I'm going to tell you that I'm not happy with your performance out there. It, it just, no. I mean, look. Five points between us and East Thurrock, who, who we beat. I think it's one of the only teams we've beat. How many games have we actually won? I don't think it's many. We've won four. Well. Oh, yeah, I did it at the beginning of the season, didn't I? It seems so long ago now. Dickinson impresses for Troy. Who did he impress? It wasn't me. 11 matches in a row without winning, guys. 11. 11. Fucking 11. On to the next game, then. Right, guys. Welcome back. It's time to start out the team. I'm thinking making a massive change and giving lots of people a shot. You know, people like Chris Todd, who hasn't really played... He's got a, you know, he's had a shit rating, so I've dropped him. But I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop a lot of the team. I'm even gonna give Mazzaro a rest. Check out this young, uh, young lad O'Brien. Give him a game. Cameron Gill. Let's take Fallon off. He hasn't been performing. Uh, who else can we give a? Sh can't really play at Adelsbury yet because he's only recommended 45 minutes. Hancock can have a game. You can go on the right hand side. All right, let's crack on with that. Let's, let's go with that. Let's let's see if we can get some luck with this. We're going to go really balls to the wall. Hope for the best on this one. Fingers crossed, guys, because 12 games without a win is ju I mean, it's, it's just awful. And I think we've only what, drawn two of those games. So, you know, if we lose this, that's, that's 10 losses out of 12. And that's just not good enough. And I'd have sacked me a long time ago. First highlight then, four minutes into the game. O'Brien kicks it long. Dickinson, you're supposed to be a target man. Ooh, that, that could have ended in a red card. 
Now it's Reese. Wallen. Wallen long ball. Fisher on the left hand side. He crosses it in. It's probably going to be 1 0. It is. Wilmot scores at the far post. And we are in a big steaming pile of turd right now. In fact, that's what we are as a team. A big steaming pile of dung. Second highlight now then. 22 minutes into the game. It started with a long ball by our keeper. Now Fisher down the... Is it Fisher or Flisher? God, my eyesight is terrible today. I've been awake all night. Way Keeper saves it. Long ball. Oh, coach just wins a header. Dickinson. Brett. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal. It'll be amazing. It'll be a great day. All right, Fitzsimmons clears. Richards wins the header, though. And now it's fallen to Wallen, who's played it through. This is Fisher down the... It is Flisher. It's Flisher. Why am I reading it as Fisher? Oh, my days. <sighs> what was that for goalkeeping? It just... It's like he just sort of gave up and just just went, Oh, do you know what? I'll dive. I'll fall over that way and... Oh, just... Uh, oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh, we are going to get smashed in this game as well, aren't we? Well, this is Cregan. He's going to play it to Flisher. Old Flisher. And now it's hit back in. This is Wallen. Cregan plays through. He's got to be offside. He was offside. He's offside. There we go. Yeah, sit down. This is Wilmot. Wilmot now to cross it in. It's Cregan. That's a good save. Well done, O'Brien. You actually made a save this time. Reese with the corner. Crossed in. It's headed clear, but it's only going to fall to Cregan, who's probably going to shoot, and it's probably going to go in. It's cleared. Dickinson heads it on to no one. Fitzsimmons kicks it long. Reese. Wins header, Church, Warren, Cregan, it's a foul, it's not a foul, Knowles knocks it long, Dickinson, do something, not that, Pew, Coltrist now on the left hand side, he plays it into Dickinson, Dickinson now, what's he going to do with it, he plays it in, to nobody, again, he's shit, why am I playing him, Neil, come on Neil, hit it, penalty, come on, get in, Bush takes down Neil. Oh, but do you know what? We, I don't even know who we've got taking penalties because we. I think we missed the last one. Fallon missed the last penalty we had. Dickinson for the penalty. He scores. Come on. 2 1. It nearly wasn't a goal. I mean, let's face it, it was a really shit penalty. Keeper should have saved that. O'Brien's kicking isn't the best. Every time he kicks it long, it goes to none of our players. But Dickinson's through here. Can Dickinson get a cross in? No, no. Because he goes for the shot instead of crossing the ball like most normal people would have done. Richards to Dickinson. I don't know why I'm commenting. This is just a big, you know. Oh, my God. Neil's through. Come on, Neil. He shoots. It's saved by Fitzsimmons. I thought we might have scored straight from kickoff then. I was getting really excited. Reese to cross. Smith to clears. It's Cregan though. He shoots from distance and fuck's sake. Ah. Should have played Bizarro. Dale O'Brien. You're rubbish, mate. You might be one for the future, but you're not one for now. I mean, what is this? Oh, God. <laughs> the standard of goalkeeping at this level is just absolutely atrocious. Pugh, Dickinson. Oh dear, Cregan. He's been good, I think. Oh, 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 it's smacked into Brett. Brett now to Gill. Jill, whatever his fucking name is. Cauldress on the left hand side. Crosses the ball in. It's Brett. It's 3 2. We might still be in with a chance. And I don't know if, if, if my mic is actually picking me up clapping because I, I tend to just get excited and clap like some weird happy person. Just, yeah. 
So if, if it sounds, you know, like more like fapping instead of clapping in the background, I do apologise. But I got a bit excited because somebody scored and we have to celebrate every goal because we don't know when the next one's coming. But come on, boys. Let's no, let's not go overload. Let's not get excited here. Let's just let's just keep our cool. In fact, let's tell them to team talk of some something. I don't know. Something. Something. Let's go with a passionate, no, yeah, a passionate, get creative, I, I, no, encourage, encourage, passionate, encourage. I actually clicked the right button this time. I'm sure that was the downfall of one of my games in the last episodes. Come on, boys, come on, get a late equaliser. We were doing so well. It's Liz Awful to Brett. Brett to Bentley. Bentley, ping it in. We ain't got long left, son. Come on, Bentley. Don't give it away. What were you doing? You were just standing there. And now Cregan's through. He's going to make it four. And fuck. Oh, my. Danny Wright. Well done. Good save, son. Well done. But it's all over. We're going to lose this game because of fucking Bentley just standing there. <sighs> Reese with a corner. Crosses it in. It's cleared. But Daly's there. He's going to ping it back in, probably. Oh, my God, we won the ball back. Brett. Ah, now Young's got the ball. Well, it was another nearly game. 50 seconds left. There is another highlight before the end. It's probably going to be them scoring to finish us off, put us out of our misery. Neil tries to clear it. He doesn't. He tries to clear it again. He doesn't. Cregan now... And now we've got it. Brett, let's get it up there because we've only got a few seconds left. Dickinson. Brett, get it up there, boys. We ain't got long left. Now this is Jill. Gill. Dickinson, playing through. Why can't you just get your goddamn head up? And that's game over. We've lost. Ah. <sighs> Smegging out. Well, <laughs> what an episode that was. What a steaming pile of donkey dung we've turned out to be. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy that episode, don't forget to give us a like. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Even if it's just to hurl a bunch of abuse at me for being shit and not realising things and, and just generally being a tactical disaster. Um, but, yeah. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your dog. Let the goldfish watch it from its bowl in the corner. Who knows? But anyway, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. ta -ra.